<laughs> Where do I even begin with this one? I'm about to break the first rule of Fight Club. You do not talk about Fight Club. Fight Club is my favorite movie of all time. But why? What is so fucking good about Fight Club? That's what we're gonna explore in this video. Okay, so I think it's important to state up front that if you watch this film and think that Fight Club is simply about bare knuckle boxing, you have missed the entire point. Following its release, a whole bunch of dickheads started up Fight Clubs where they started beating each other up. If you're interested in that, I suggest you join a boxing club. I suppose it also means that this film is not for idiots. There's a lot going on intellectually in this movie, and if you don't have the brights to grasp that, maybe you shouldn't watch it to start with. All right, parental protection warning out of the way. Let's get into it. Released in 1999, Fight Club is based on the brilliant novel of the same name by Chuck Palahniuk. This novel is absolutely fantastic. And the reason that the movie is so good is that it is based on the novel almost verbatim. Every fantastic line in the movie comes straight from the book. Now I have a slight dilemma because this movie is so much about the twists and turns that spoilers are almost unavoidable, but I'm going to do it all without spoilers. How in hell are you going to do that? I hear you asking. Well, watch and be amazed. I'm going to give away very little about the plot and its twists because I could never dream of spoiling this film for anyone who hasn't seen it. David Fincher was chosen to direct this film because of his enthusiasm for the story. But like all great films, Fight Club was initially rejected by studio executives. Mostly because they don't know their ass from their elbow. It was one of the most controversial and talked about films of 1999, which was, by the way, an epic year for movies. We saw American Pie, The Mummy, The Green Mile, American Beauty, Office Space, The Sixth Sense, The Talented Mr. Ripley, Notting Hill, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, The World Is Not Enough, Double Jeopardy, Existence, 8mm, Any Given Sunday, and of course, The Matrix. Oh my god! The 90s were so amazing! What has happened to the world? <laughs> anyway, so as usual for an amazing piece of cinematography, it got mixed reviews from critics. A group of people who are generally good at slating everything, but without having a creative bone in their body. But as we know by now, it is a cinema classic. Ten years after its release, once it was established, the media finally had to recognize its contribution. And, as such, the New York Times dubbed it the defining cult movie of our time. It features career best performances by Edward Norton, Brad Pitt, and Helena Bonham Carter. It also has some great performances from Meatloaf, Holt McCallany, and Jared Leto. Proving, once again, just like Ocean's Eleven, that the best movies have entirely male casts with one great actress. I'm just kidding. I cheated. What does Fight Club do right? Well, fucking everything. It's totally amazing. The story is fantastic, the pacing is great, the visuals of the film are great, the soundtrack is brilliant, the acting is next level, and directorially it is Finch's best work. And that is saying something. 
It features CG elements, which are hilariously whimsical. They perfectly complement what's happening in the film while being glaringly obvious. Fincher is able to successfully capture the feeling of the book. And that's not an easy thing to do. This book is a masterpiece. And if you are familiar with Chuck Palahniuk's writing, or Chuck Palahniuk, whatever the fuck his name is, you'll know that he writes in a minimalist, almost flow of consciousness style. He moves from one section to another using non sequiturs and does so perfectly. His style is intentionally abrupt. He uses humor in such a poignant and cynical manner and knows how to push the boundaries. His characters are dark, damaged, and magnificently imperfect. And somehow, through some freak act of fortuitous chance, either that or through divine endowment, Fincher is able to translate that to film. I think it's one of those once in a lifetime moments when an artist is touched by the hand of fate and able to perform one magnificent feat of glory that can never be repeated. I've watched every one of David Finch's films and they're all great, but none exceeds Fight Club. But is it the mood, style and philosophy of the film that stands above all else? Because as much as some people want to suggest that this is just a film about fist fighting, this is actually a narrative about my generation. It speaks directly to the hearts of young men especially. It talks about materialism, corporatism, and the expectations that others place upon you. It talks about an anarchistic rejection of societal norms, shaking off the cumbersome mantle that society wants to place upon our backs. It is about being free. It is the opposite of politically correct. It doesn't concern itself with the opinions of others. It is the free expression of the male heart. It holds a mirror up to every man and asks, what are you made of? Will you be obedient and do what you're told? Or will you strike out upon your own and tread a path towards an unknown destiny? You are not your job. You're not how much money you have in the bank. You're not the car you drive. You're not the contents of your wallet. You're not your fucking khakis. Fight Club lifts a middle finger to society. It boldly exposes culture's soft underbelly. Fight Club speaks directly to the wildness that exists in the heart of every man. It utters a war cry to be an individual, a man of integrity, boldness and edge. But it also reveals the nihilistic darkness of the world. The finality of death. You are not special. You are not some unique snowflake. You are the same decaying matter as everything else. <laughs> Why do I love it so much? Well, it is a narrative about my generation, if there is even such thing. Fight Club is an exposition into being human and especially into being a young man. That's why the vast majority of its fan base are men, because men get what this story is about, and it touches us in our spirit. It is the beautiful, warm feeling inside the devastation of modern life. If you're a young man struggling to find identity, wondering who you should be in the world, what parts of society you should surrender to. This film is for you. It may be the starting gun on your journey into manhood. 
I am Jack's wasted life. Well, frankly, I think I've done a fucking brilliant job. I've managed to talk about this film for quite some time now without having actually spoiled anything about it. Do you want me to get down to the nitty gritty? Well, this is the coolest goddamn film ever made. The acting and delivery of Edward Norton is faultless. He is, at the same time, a weak and vulnerable individual, and a voice piece for an entire generation. He's going to make you laugh, while at the same time imparting a narrative on existential dread. Fight Club is about a guy, let's call him Edward because he doesn't actually have a name, at least not one that we discovered during the film. Edward has got a problem. In fact, he's got quite a few. But mostly, he's got insomnia. With insomnia, you're never really asleep, and you're never really awake. In order to try and overcome his ailment, he finds himself visiting support groups. Support groups for cancer, and all kinds of other medical conditions. He meets a girl named Marla Singer, the most fucked up person you'll ever see on film, beautifully portrayed by Helena Bonham Carter. My God, I haven't been fucked like that since grade school. This is the beginning of a beautiful dysfunctional relationship. During a flight, Edward runs into Tyler Durton, a protagonist or antagonist, it's kind of hard to decide, who pushes Edward to challenge everything that he knows to be true about the world. Together, they start the Fight Club an underground, bare-knuckle fighting organization. It's joined by men from all walks of life who fight to break the fetters of society. The fighting is a revolt, a resistance against the culture that tries to shackle them and cocoon them from really living. It strips away the fear of pain and the reliance on material possessions for self-worth. The members of the Fight Club fight to be participants rather than spectators in their own lives. But it doesn't stop there. The Fight Clubs develop a cult-like following and eventually transform into Project Mayhem. Project Mayhem is an anti-establishment movement which uses clever vandalism to send messages about the dangers of materialism and the pointlessness of modern living. But a disagreement arises between Edward and Tyler about the endgame of Project Mayhem. Ultimately, Edward rebels against the project and tries to expose it to the authorities. Then even more unusual things evolve. Okay, I can't do it. I can't in good conscience give away the key aspects of the story. If you've seen it, you already know. And if you haven't seen it, you can only ever see it once for the first time. And I would never consider stripping you of that precious moment. Suffice it to say that this story will lead you on a psychological and emotional journey that will twist the fibers of your brain. It's clever, funny, and deep if you'll take the time to think about what it's really saying. Please take the time to watch this film. It may be a transformational experience for you. Regardless of this, it's bloody funny and highly entertaining. All of these factors come together to make Fight Club one of the greatest movies ever made. Now don't misunderstand me here. I'm not saying that you should start going around vandalizing property or starting bare knuckle fighting clubs. If you think that that's the point of Fight Club, then you've Missed the point. Look deeper. Look at what's going on underneath the surface. Thanks for watching. This channel is just in its infancy and I really want to see it grow. So please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. 
See you next time.